Can you hear the game? You should be able to. I know I am louder than the game. That's the way it's supposed to be, I guess. Okay, good. Alright, after a couple of fail attempts to, to stream this game, some technical inconvenience, I am pretty much forced to restart this game. At least I didn't get, I didn't get or I didn't make too much progress before making a decision. Anyways... Welcome back everybody to the backlog. By the request of Dark Dude, I'm gonna be playing all the way through Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy. Playing it from the Super Game Boy on the Super Nintendo. Shit. I almost died to the first Goomba. That would have been hilarious. Well, I have died to the first Goomba in Super Mario Brothers 1. So it wouldn't be a first. I'm a coin whore, you guys should know me by now, but I am not going for that this time around. Not for every single coin at least. Actually, before I decided to restart this, I was uh, collecting a very decent amount of lives, all things considered. Now that I think of it, probably the game that is not very generous with lives. I was saying that this was not very generous, actually I take that back. Probably Wario Land 1 is not that generous uh, when it comes to getting extra lives. Well, but this game on the, on the contrary actually is... Uh, actually... Very generous. I remember in Wireland, the first Wireland, not dying for quite a bit and still didn't get more than 15 lives. I got it. You know, I, I would like that as well, but I'm not sure what kind of graphics I would like it for it. Um. I don't know. Mario World graphics, it's kind of overrated by now because of the multiple ROM hacks that there are. I'm not a huge fan of the graphics of the newer Super Mario Brothers games, the, um, the 2D ones. So I don't know. I mean, it could be interesting, but... I'm not sure how I would like it to be, or how I would like it to look like. Okay, this uh, secret allow you to get a bunch of lives. Yeah, I'm doing your request, Ark. Oh, 
Well, I guess that's why you requested it, right? Because it's one of your favorite ones. Whatever, let's go back. I'm doing pretty good, how about yourself? I'm enjoying my last uh, week of vacation before I get back to class. Remember, I'm going to class in the evenings. So yeah, next week I get back to that. So I'm enjoying my last week of lack of obligations. I was actually uh, streaming from much earlier. I started like half an hour ago. But I had some technical difficulties, so I had to switch software and I decided to restart the game all over again. For the sake of the recordings on YouTube later on. Well, actually, believe it or not, um, for the backlog series, the next game I'm doing is another request of yours. Do you remember what other game you requested when you won the raffle? I'm going for the secret exit first. Remember, some levels in in not all of the worlds, most of them have secret exits that allow you to play extra levels that usually are like bonus-like levels, but not necessarily so. Yes, sir. That's exactly what you requested. Mega Man 4 is next. Not today. Today I'm just gonna focus on this game. But for the next backlog stream, which is uh, likely to happen this week. I'll be doing Mega Man 4 all the way through. The other requests I got were Echo the Dolphin 2 and uh, Mega Man 8. I think at some point I remember asking that or wondering that why they didn't add or they didn't use the, the bunny power up on any other Mario game. I think I've seen it in a couple of hacks, but I'm, we're talking about real games, right? Official games. If you guys stick around, by the end of this game, I'll be doing a raffle, so the ones in chat, or the person that wins from chat, Twitch chat only, unfortunately, um, will be able to pick up or to, to choose a game from my personal collection, so I can do it in the backlog show. Many of these games are by request, many others are by personal choice. Pretty sure that's an extra life. I need to run. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, this is on the on the eShop, isn't it? All right, gonna play this. Well, my brother recently got a DS, a 3DS. Sorry, he's currently playing. What is it? Um. Well, he's playing a bunch of games, but he was playing um. Mario 3D Land yesterday. He was playing Pokemon X or Pokemon Y, I think. One of those two. Luigi's Mansion as well. Luigi's Mansion 2. He was playing a bunch of games in order to test them out, I guess, but. He's so into his uh, 3, 3DS right now. Pretty sure I didn't even touch the guy. What ifs? Nice. 
All right. Had to play this level again, so... Oh well. Bad timing, I usually make it. Wait, was it, wasn't there a money bag or was it actually further up? So now I've missed my fireball so I was able to kill those guys. Hey Russell, how are you doing? Shit. Yeah, it's a Kaiso trap, believe it or not. Yeah, it is such a classic. Not much. Watch it whenever you want. Uh, the delay, I think, is around the same. Okay, that's good timing. You can watch both both chats anyway, so... Alright, I know these are optional levels, but as I said before, I like to play them all, so... I'm going for this one as well. It's about the bees. Alright, cool. Yeah, the thing is, on Twitch, people that don't have very good connections will constantly suffer from buffering, which shouldn't happen on YouTube since you are able to choose the quality. Alright, I'm gonna skip all these... Um, I think this is the point in the game where I decided to restart it. Because I got a little frustrated because of the constant frame rate drops. Lag, etc. etc. Alright, as long as I kill these two guys, I will be getting an extra life. The good old Big Rust 99. Yeah, but it depends on the channel. Usually, partner channels are able to do that, and a few non partner ones. I don't think in my case. You are able to select quality right now as we speak? No, I can't. I think it depends on the amount of viewers and that kind of thing. Alright, we need another extra life. Hey Viper. What is up? What do you mean by how do I play the game on Twitch? How do I stream it, do you mean? Yeah, apparently a lot of people do love this game. I mean, I like it too, of course, but... By the way, welcome, Mother Brain. I was watching you yesterday playing... 
What were you playing? Um, POW? Some Life Force? I don't know if you did something else afterwards, but yeah, it was... I was watching your sexy face destroying NES games. And I don't know how to Mario, apparently. Did I get checkpoint? Yes, I did. Yeah, I know you were doing a bunch of games. Someone needs to get a life. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about myself. Having so much time to watch such games. Come on, it was a Sunday. Well, I say sexy face because I don't have the chance to watch anything else out of your body. So I just have to be happy with saying face. Easy boss. Easy life. So one out of six. I never understood the point to this isolated level over here. Is it just for shits and giggles? Besides, it's an auto-scroller. Everybody hates auto-scrollers. Well, except me. Because I'm a fucking hipster. I knew about that one. Nerd. Yeah, what is having fun, though? What do you mean by be right back? You requested this game, you have to stay here till the very end! God damn it. There's nothing we can do against the biological needs. If you need to take a shit, by all means, go for it. Okay, this is the shortcut for Space Zone. All we need to do is hold the jump button so you keep yourself inside the bubble safe. Yeah, the only thing that can uh, force me to go down is to collect the money, as much as I coin whore as I am, which is kind of a risk. I know myself, that's why. I, I do the warning. Oh, the very same thing. No changes. Space zone, so green. Well, we can change that, right? I don't know, I don't like the other colors. I either do green, which is the default, or black and white. I love it too. So yeah, here we have Mario in space. Wait, I already have 500 coins? So I'll be able to play this uh, world map minigame so I have the chance to get even 50 extra lives. Oh 
Oh yeah, this level actually got a secret exit, so I should go for it first. Oops. It's a consequence of blind jumps. Alright, I know that the secret blocks that take you to the secret area are close to the checkpoint and I found it by chance. I mean, me? Skills? When? How? Also, that planet in the background. Super happy Saturn. Alright, that didn't take too long. Angry Moon. I fucked it up. I always fuck it up. I'm never able to get it to the other side without falling. So I'm pretty much forced to get to the very end of the level. I'm gonna give my, myself another chance. If I fail, like I just did... Wait, I'm not able to play this anymore. No, no, what are you doing? Okay, I'm forcing myself to play this again. Why? Alright, I'm blaming it on the path. It's not my fault. It's never my fault. I'm two en enemies away from getting a, um, a star. Remember, if you kill a hundred enemies in this game, you get you are granted a star. Hopefully you are given a star when there are many enemies around, so you have the chance to get extra lives, right? That's the whole joke out of it. Yeah, there is, but it's, I think you have to replay the level in order to... Okay, I'm gonna cut myself on camera for failing that. Um, yeah, you cannot get back to it, unfortunately, unless you play the level again, which I'm not doing. I'm not gonna bother. Just go for a normal exit. Here it is. And of course, no enemies around. Oh, never mind. And no more enemies. So yeah, good job, Star. I think all of the worlds have a secret. Pumpkin Zone has two. Mario Zone doesn't have any. The Giant Mario area? That one doesn't have any. I remember looking for it like hours and hours trying to find a secret that actually never existed. Sad? It's fucking angry. No! I knew that was gonna happen. Funnily enough, I totally touched the spikes. Twice, and I didn't die. Look at how hardcore I am. How daring. Let's see, whatever I get, it's fine. As long as I get something at all, okay. Either a power up, extra lives, I don't care. I guess this is the music you like. Oh, I like it too. And 
I'm gonna ruin it everything talking over it with my commentary, with my shitty commentary. I need power-ups. I don't trust myself in these situations, I get too nervous and I end up dying. I'm not going for the money. It's tempting, but I'm not going for it. Give me that. <laughs> no, I don't sing along, I just talk shit. Well, that's all I do anyway, but... Is it boss time? Not yet. Someone is a little anxious. Hey, hello. Actually, this start will be convenient since I'll be able to skip these guys. So I, I save some effort, sort of. And we're fighting Tatanga, the final boss of Mario Land 1, who wants revenge. Wait, how did I get hit? Seriously? Money, 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 money. Well, as long as I don't fuck it up 30 more times. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it was weird. Okay, what's next? I think it's Macro Zone. Where magically Mario becomes small. Or the house got way too big. I like this world, to be honest. Welcome back, Darky! Alright, later, Mother Brain. Thanks for stopping by. Dream of me. I don't know the pipe glitch. I don't know what it does. I already have bunny. Well, this is the level where the secret exit is. 
But you know, let's go normal path first. Let's make all the effort, then go back here. Well, I already fucked it up, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yeah, all the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that commercial actually came out here as well. Wait, what? That was weird. Yeah, that's the one I remember, Dark. But I don't know if that was the... Uh, the commercial for, for this game or for Maryland 3, for Wireland game as such. Pretty sure it was for this game. I don't know, it made me laugh, I didn't get... ...creeped out or anything. Okay, now I got the timing I'm used to. Actually, I'm gonna go for this instead. Ah, it was for Wireland then? Okay. Wait, what? I think this is the only game in which you see piranha plants coming out of flower pots. Not through pipes, only. I kinda like the mixture between like classic enemies, like Goombas, Koopas, Chip Chips, Piano Plants, and these uh, new enemies that pretty much appear on this game only. Well, the ants, the bees that appear in World 1, you know, the stars, the angry stars, you know, there is a variety of new enemies. Probably most of the enemies are new ones that only had one appearance in the series, in the Mario series in general. Is it? Um, it's uh, challenging on its own way. I wouldn't call it hard, but it is uh, probably harder than this if we are to compare. But, I mean, uh, from the Wario games, obviously Wireland 1 is the most challenging one since it pretty much follows the um, the ideas or the general principles of the classic Mario games going from one point to another dodging enemies collecting lives, not losing those lives the later Mario games were more about collecting but they were still entertaining in their own way but the gameplay style actually changed oh yeah the sharks well they, those come uh, later on, I didn't want to spoil but pretty much everybody watching right now are familiar with this game, I hope. But yeah, I like the variety of enemies uh, that show up here. Classics and especially the new guys. One of the things I actually enjoy a lot out of this game when I saw it for, for the first time or when I played it for the first time, it was the variety, the, 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 how different the bosses were. Something I kind of was wanting to happen. This game came out in 92, but I didn't play this until pretty much 98 or 99. War yeah, Warland 4 was actually difficult even for collecting purposes. I know there's a star, but I don't think... Oh, it was in here, okay. I'll be able to get a couple extra lives. Probably Wireland 2 was the easiest. Yeah, but even difficulty wise, uh, a lot of people criticized Wireland 2, 3, 
especially because you never died. But again, those uh, games are actually very good, probably better than Wireland 1, because it got a lot more content to it. There are secrets to find, things to collect. The the um, the focus completely changed for for the better. Wireland 4 added a little bit more challenge to it to the series. Okay, um we're gonna go back to level one so we can get the secret exit. Yeah, Wireland 2's uh, final level took a little bit of getting used to. You mean the actual the, the real final level? The one that takes place like inside a body. Yeah, I like it too, very much. I actually have a copy of it. But for the regular Game Boy, not the color version, unfortunately. very cool in its own way as well. I really love it. Between 2 and 3, you know, I'm kind of divided, 50 and 50 in terms of preference. Can't really say I like one more than the other. They're both very enjoyable. Ah, I fucked it up again. I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, okay, the, the body parts, the, the real final level. Yeah, it is challenging. You, you need to be very familiar with the controls and know what to do. Alright, after this world, maybe I will play the bonus thing. I don't necessarily have to wait until I get 999 coins. Oh, dude, it happened the same thing again. Probably the secret exit is not even there. Hey cat, how are you doing? No. Yeah, I've done Waterland 3 a couple times on my YouTube. Yeah, this is not even the place I'm looking for. Oh cool, I restart from the checkpoint. Here it is. You still need the fire flower though, so it was a good thing I picked up this power up. I was talking! What? Yeah, it's forcing me to use that. Okay, I guess I can pick it up again and. Alright, this secret exit is a little bit tedious. At least I'm killing everybody. Okay, a little bit annoying, but I got it. Oh, more of the scrollers. Actually, this is more challenging. And yeah, as I said before, after this world, I'm gonna play the bonus game. Yeah, some hitboxes are super weird. 
Don't ask me. You know, I, I still have a personal struggle <laughs> between Mario World or Mario 3 being my favorite Mario game. At some point I said Mario 3, like, hands down, but you know, my heart is divided. Come on, this game got just a couple of other scrollers, don't be so, so harsh on the game. Alright, let's see if I can get 999 in this level, would be great. I'm pretty sure in this level you are able to get a Mario... Oh yeah, the witch. Just touch, touch the witch for you to get the extra life. Pretty sure there is um, a money bag that gets you 50. I probably I won't need it in the end. Yeah, I mean, the main negative thing out of Mario 3, in my opinion, is that first, you cannot replay levels, and second, you cannot save. I'm talking about the original game, not the All-Stars remake. Mario World, on the other hand, well, the... Um, how can I put it? The, the engine is excellent, but I didn't love... I didn't like the fact of theme worlds, which Mario, ha Mario 3 has. You know, those are the main differences for me. Okay, you cannot attack him while he is uh, actually getting into the pipe. Apparently I forgot how to do the Mario against the mouse. There we go. Dead. <laughs> Halfway through, more or less. And let's go to Pumpkin Zone. This gate oh this world has uh, two secret exits. Oh sorry, two uh yeah, yeah, I am uh, saying them right. You have it, nine ninety nine. This way is where the bell is. Oh yeah, fucking Dracula. I think it's the only time we see that enemy in this game. And in the Mario series then. Cool. I the good old times. Being able to get this three life heart right away. With good timing. Alright. No, I haven't seen them. Maybe I'm familiar with a couple, but I'm pretty sure they have discovering more and more. But I haven't seen them. Okay, let's go for the 999 mini game, of course. It's a little risky because I can end up getting something very shitty or something as good as 99 lives. I think last time I played this, I got 20 lives. Right here. Alright, not bad. It's like. Still a very nice uh, price. There are better ones, of course.
Alright, the next two levels have secret exits, so I'm gonna take care of them. Oh, there's a credit warping? Okay. Oh, I think I missed a um, star. Or maybe that's later. No, I think that's by the end of the level, actually. Careful. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to get 999 again before Wario's Castle. I don't know, I would have been happier with 50 lives, but... I don't think I'm gonna lose that many in, in Wario's Castle, but... I usually die a lot in that, the very last level. You don't like them? Oh shit! I usually get that one. I'm playing these two right away and then I'm gonna go back for the secrets. Yeah, the, this music is very similar to the one, you know, in, in the underground areas in Mario Land 1. Wait, what? Um, by any chance, these, these things actually were shown on the GDQ show? Because sometimes they do some sort of glitch showcase in, in some of these marathons. I didn't really watch that marathon. I was a little busy with, with life. At the moment, that's why I didn't watch it. Oops. Ah, oh, you don't know? So, so where did you watch those, um, those glitches? Anyway, I'm gonna replay these two levels. Yeah, we can look it up. I guess. I think it's one of these pipes, actually, that... This one, maybe? No. But I know it's a pipe with an underwater section afterwards. <laughs> How are you doing, Shingo? Here it is. Alright, it, it didn't have a pipe. But it had water in it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's in the outside. Well, both of them are. Oh my god, my soft pixels! Well, you know, I end up uh, uploading everything on YouTube, all my streams. And some other perks are pre-recorded, so you are not supposed to watch them yet. Alright, 69 lives. Beautiful. Alright, let's go for the other error. Secret. Yeah, I'm already at 200. So you never know, I might end up reaching 999 again. It would be so hilarious if I play the bonus game with 999, I end up getting a witch. Which basically is you fail no price at all. Yeah, the thing is, um, I have a little bit of an announcement. Um, as you know, I'm doing several series on YouTube throughout my different channels. And by now I think we are in, a, in good shape for me to tell you that the non serious Gaming series, which is uh, on uh, Channel 2, is covered for the rest of 2016. I'm not joking. So it's covered all the way until December <laughs> for 20 coins I will get to that point so yeah the non-serious gaming is pretty much um, assured for the rest of the year I would say that the retro quest is also pretty much done for the year I mean done in the sense that I have enough videos to cover the rest of the year it doesn't mean I'm stopping not at all the more the, the more I do the better I think for the retro quest I got it covered till November easily. Four more months from now. So Okay that was it. So I've got plenty of material. But I will continue to do streams as much as I can in order to cover if possible the whole of next year because next year well I will be finishing my degree and probably gonna be working full-time so I definitely will not have the same amount of time as I have now so that's why I'm trying to do a lot of things now lot, lots of streams lots of recordings yeah thanks but yeah I mean I, I've been actually setting myself an objective in this case uh, trying to cover before August, the rest of this year for all of my series. Uh, I pretty much did that for non serious gaming. I'm almost there with the Retro Quest. I've been doing a few episodes uh, pre recorded. Alright, I'm fighting the Witch. The Witch probably is one of the most annoying bosses in the game. As long as you have this power-up, actually, it should be easier to land on the witch, as you can see. Probably need to work more on the replay series. I've got like two months ready on the replay series, but I, I would like to get the rest of the year covered. We're talking about the main series, right? Let's get in there. Alright, the Mario Zone doesn't have secrets.
probably if I have to actually choose between my favorite series, uh, sorry, my favorite song in this game and my least favorite song, I would say that probably this is my least favorite area in the game. I don't know why. I mean, it's probably because it's just like a factory like thing. We're pretty much inside the robots, but I don't know. I probably didn't like it as much as the others. And uh, when it comes to my favorite one, probably Macro Song will be the one. But yeah, this is like the fucking clock tower in Castlevania. I never liked the clock tower levels. Holy shit, Shingo, so much text! Let me finish the level and then I read. Yeah, I mean, uh, this uh, flying power doesn't necessarily imply that you have to be flying upwards. It's like the hovering uh, plane as Dixie Kong in the Donkey Kong Country series, for example. It's useful, so you can control your landing, but you don't necessarily have to be flying upwards. I don't need to. I mean, a lot of people would like something like that, basically, for them to be able to skip levels and break the levels by not playing them at all and just fly over them all the time. I'm not a big fan of that, really. Even if I have the flying power up, I just try to play the levels on land. You know, flying over levels is more of a speedrunning thing, but you know I'm not into it, really. So yeah, as a concept, it's actually pretty cool, and it's kind of a shame that they didn't do it anymore. Yeah, these are Mario's balls, actually. So many. Not like me, that I have only one. South face. Can you believe it's been almost three fucking years since I... Since I finished my chemotherapy. Remember I had ball cancer three years ago. Motherfucking three years. Wow. Well, actually, on September the 2nd, I will celebrate my third anniversary of me finishing that. So maybe I'll do some celebration stream. Yeah, time fucking flies. I was thinking the other day, dude, how long has it been? Fucking three years. And I remember it like it was yesterday, to be honest. Lots of shit going on. It was kind of a tough time, but at the same time, I have some nice memories out of it. Basically because it turned out well. Streaming something semi-sexual? Why semi-sexual? Why can't it be completely sexual? And no, I'm not gonna stream our sex tapes, Dark. Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna expose you that way. But yeah, it could be something completely sexual. Okay, this is a very weird thing. You are being picked up and you can still have a little space for walking. I mean, just think about it, on, on January I will be completing 9 years since I started on YouTube. Not very far away from the decades, so imagine how much of a party that will be. The 10 year stream or whatever it is. Yeah, I know that, I know that, I know what you meant. Well, Naked Gaming was in 2010, and part of 2011, so yeah, it's been a while. We are getting old! I mean, think about it, I started doing YouTube and streaming when I was 22, 
And I am fucking 30 now. <laughs> Just for you to get the picture. So yeah, Lego level. Oh, do you, do you know what N and B is? Did you see it down there? The mystery behind the N and B? I think that's a Japanese uh, toy company. That was... Uh, that made Legos. But I don't, never understood why Nintendo actually made that reference. Probably N and B used to be Nintendo. Back in the toy times. I did some research on that some a while ago. Okay, this is where the bag is. Oh yeah. That hack for some reason became very popular on my channel. I received lots of comments from that video, from part one. Alright, the three picks. That, this is kind of a challenging boss for me. Well, glad to hear that because I remember well I, I I learned something throughout the years and that thing is don't fight with the haters but I still do I, I still have that habit of getting annoyed by the by the haters and reply them back when I am not supposed to or it's recommended not to but I still do right and one of those comments I remember from, from an old viewer he used to criticize me because back in the day, I, I, first of all, by saying, okay, Retro, you are not as fun as you used to be, so I'm, I'm subscribing. You know, I, I get a few of those comments every now and then. <laughs> you know? By the way, Last World, we're getting there. It would be great if I actually beat the game before 6. That was my initial plan. So... Uh, The thing is, that guy said, you're not as funny as you used to be. And you know, that, that, that comment kind of got me intrigued. Yeah, I know, I know they're annoyed, but I still reply them back. Especially since we were dealing with an old viewer, supposedly, right? So I asked the person, okay, you say that I'm not longer funny. And I clarified two things and I asked a question back, basically, because I wanted to know, really, what was the, the, the support for such comment? Well, the thing is, was I ever funny? It, it was never my objective. I mean, if I end up making people laugh, it's probably an intention. Uh, it's not my intention, really, to do that. It's unintentional. So I, I asked, uh, was it supposed to be funny from the beginning? And the second question, why exactly I am no longer funny? Please, reply with arguments. And the only argument I got, quote-unquote argument, that I got out of that is you are not, your accent is not as funny as it used to be. So, we always come back to the accent. Unfortunately, some people still think that I'm worth watching because they have a quote-unquote funny accent, which is basically implied mockery. That's what it is. I mean, saying that, oh, I love your voice, or I love your accent, and that's why I watch you, otherwise you're not worth it. You know, you, you, you're not worth my time. That's what they're saying. Hey, Wakamaro, welcome. Um, so that's basically the argument here. By the way, this is a, a level that could take a while because this one got secret exit as well. So basically, the reason why I'm no longer funny is because my English improved. You get where I'm going? So basically, I was worth watching because my English was not perfect and I had a different voice. Basically, this is what my voice sounds like even in, in Spanish. Back, back in the day, for some reason, I used to have a different voice or I changed it, uh, of course, without the intention to do so. Um, 
basically unconsciously, uh, my voice changed when I spoke in English and that was apparently funny for the viewers. When I improved my English, apparently the, the viewer rate decreased like dramatically. And that guy actually clarified that for me. You are no longer funny because we cannot make fun of your voice. That's what it is. And from that point on, really, I stopped caring because for such a lame, poor argument, I got worried for a while because I thought, okay, I am actually changing to the point of boring people, but no, it, it's, it's, a, and it's not the only person that actually mentioned that. So that's why I, at some point I was questioning myself saying, okay, why, why was doing so great before that I'm not doing great anymore? And honestly, the humor, the humorous part is essentially the same. It's okay, uh, Huakamaro, Hukakamaro, sorry. Uh, I understand what you say, so. Th that's my point, basically. And that's why, at this point, I don't care if I actually, people like me or not. Because with such lame arguments, I stopped like questioning myself even, like right away. I was like, okay, this is not my thing. Viewers actually have a very distortion, how can I say, definition of what funny is. So never, never overestimate the internet. They can always surprise you even uh, throughout the years. But yeah, that, that's still something. Some things I need to work out, especially arguing with with haters, which I shouldn't do, but I still do. All right, I got this out of the way. Other complaints are basically related to uh, dick jokes, which I still do, and I love them. And I do them with with my female friends, and they 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 laugh their asses off. Wario, that's what it's being spelled. Yep. So I I get complaints because of the dick jokes, and they get complaints because my voice is. Sounds bad. I mean, yeah, of course, I, at, at this point in my career, I'm not even expecting people to subscribe to my channel. I'm not expecting people to like me on Twitch. I've been getting plenty of supports lately because I've been more active, but that's another thing. And some contacts in common. I, I know... Um, Camaro, I can understand a little bit of Portuguese. It's not interesting to you. I know this is not interesting to you, but don't let me know. You're hurting me. My ego is on the floor. But yeah, that's the thing. Or people that complain because I service it too much. Well, actually, that's probably the, 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 the type of complaint that I get least at this point. Back in the day, yeah, it used to be more common, but people apparently got used to it. And the cheating as well. But... You know... You gotta experience things in order to get used to them. Boy, I fucking love retro games as well. Yeah, funnily enough, for example, Shingo, you made reference to my Ustream streams. Dude, we're talking about 2008, 2009. That's way back in the day. Of course, I mean, how how can I not respect that person that has been following me for six or seven years easily? No, I don't think I can go through that. Well, Dark, well, we, 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 I know Dark since... I was in, in I was part of GameAnyone.com, 2009. So it, 
How much has it been? Six years? Yeah, I mean, that shit used to be very common. I remember people saying that, for example, with that attitude you will never become famous on YouTube. And who cares about being famous? It's like, people got objectives for a YouTuber distortion to fuck. Alright. Let's go for the last level of this world. I've been rushing through these levels. You know, whatever I get is fine. As long as I get something, I got nothing. Turtle Zone! But of course there are games in which I can be good at. That's why I dare to play them on console. Like this one. Yeah, the rewind function actually is a very practical and actually my some of my views can help people to I don't know to to have more fun when playing games well I have done this rant way too many times about you know how games are supposed to be played and this policy of if you cheat you are not worth my time and if you serve state you, you don't have my respect, like I was really looking for your respect in the first place. But yeah, I mean, at this point I didn't I don't care about the self-imposed internet rules of streaming slash YouTubing. That's not a verb I know, but I made it up. But it, it's funny to, to see back in the day that I did care about those things, and I so regret it. I used to like be involved in so many useless fights against, against people that got a very fucked up concept of what the internet is like or what the internet is about you mean you make Super Mario World videos? alright this is another boss that could be a little bit problematic There we go. I mean, perfection is a different thing. I don't know, I wouldn't call myself perfect, but... I'm not expecting people to call me perfect either. Thank you very much, by the way, but... Yeah, I mean, it's like... Trust me, I mean, it hasn't been easy for me either, trying to find... How can I... T uh, how can I say... A style. A definite style throughout the years. I, I change from randomness, for trying to be funny, for being boring to fuck, so I, I've been going both ways. But yeah, I mean, you, you, you get to learn what the internet is um, throughout time. Alright. Let's uh, play this again. I cannot play the 999 one. Let's do this one. 20 IP is the, the maximum, the best price you can get. Oh my god, that was so close. Funny joke, Dionisio. No! Alright, I can play one more time. Dude, I've been so close to 20 lives again. Yeah, you get more chances to get witches. That's okay. 80 lives, I think, is enough for Wario's Castle. Warning, I will die a lot. Probably not a lot, but a few times. There are a couple of areas, especially platforming sections that will get me killed quite a bit. So how long have I been playing for? For around an hour and 15 minutes. first section is relatively easy. But yeah, this is a stage that can get me killed a few times. Yeah, twice in a row. So, where are you guys from, anyway? The ones that 
probably not necessarily new to the channel, but all well, I know Dark is American, this guy from Brazil, Shingo I think is from Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. What about everybody else? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, this part is, could be a little bit nasty. See why? Because I get nervous when jumping in mid there, I don't know how to calculate myself for for a proper landing. See, dude, I have a good memory. America. What part of the states? I mean, I, I've never been to there, but you know, for some reason, I mean, probably you're not into sports, but I, I like baseball, basket, and so. I'm familiar with city names, states, so I'm being more curious and curious to see where people are from. Puerto Rican. Wow, I actually... I've been able to, to get through that part relatively easy. I used to have more issues. But this is the part that actually gets me nervous the most. There we go. What about a regular jump instead of running? Probably I should stop running. There we go. SMW Molotov? I don't know what that is. For now, I, I am not planning on doing hacks for the time being. From California, cool. It didn't touch me! Yeah, I would have preferred to have full power-ups for this section. I can still fuck it up. But I think I got a pretty good idea about how to get through this, like... ...consistently. There are just a couple of jumps that could be very problematic. Yeah, I, I need to deal with these two balls again. The problem is... that. That I had no power-ups. Um, try not to, uh, it's a noun in Teresa. Um, I'm about to finish the game, so bringing people here at this point would be pointless. But thanks for the kind intentions, though. Oh shit, the tomato soup reference. I don't know if you guys uh, know about Kubernetes the Binary. Used to be a good friend of mine that did a lot, a lot of ROM hacking. He made a lot of ROM hacks of Mario 3. He used to make the reference of the tomato soup a lot. You know, I don't care at this point if I lose a power, I know I can recover it. But the platforming section is the one that worries me the most. At least this section has been... I've been able to get it very consistently. But the next one... Remember I'm skipping one hidden button on the floor that make a warrior fist appear. That's why I'm jumping there. Alright. That's probably the most dangerous jump. Almost fucked it up. You know, I don't have to run there. Okay, I got it very consistently now. Cool. Kario Mario? You mean Kaizo? Or is it called Kario? There are so many hacks out there that I don't even know. That's why I need to ask. Death Water. I don't know if it was me or someone else actually that inspired me to, to say the Death Water part. Poopoo -poo Water, I remember saying it a lot in sewer levels. It's poopoo -poo Water time, usually brown water. Okay, I made it here with full powers. This could be the one.
I need to actually attend to duck and wait till the pro oh, okay there we go can be always done a safe in a safe way can I do it wow I've never watched Proton John really I mean a few times but that was way back in the day but I never been fan of him never care about big internet celebrities Okay, time to fight Wario. This could be the run, guys. Dude, seriously? This soon? On the easiest phase? I know I can get a better power up now, but the idea is not to lose it anymore from now. Patch the IPS files on the ROM. IPS Win is a good software for that. Dude! I beat the game without losing a power up. I think it's, it's a first. GG, by the way. Dave, you mean Dave the Asher? Yeah, back in the day when I was part of Game Anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, right? They made them way too big in this game. And apparently, it didn't take as many tries as I thought it was going to take to beat uh, this game. The final castle, specifically. So yeah, guys, that's GG. And stay there, because I'm going to do the raffle for the next game. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is give you the link for for my my backlog of games so if you win the raffle you can choose a game I will recommend people from YouTube go to the Twitch chat if you want to be eligible for for the raffle okay so stay there I'm gonna I'm gonna link you to to the to the dock There it is So take a look at the, the games that I own from the different systems and if you happen to win you can request a game that eventually I will be doing on the stream for this series. Well next we have a game requested by Dark, another one, Team Mega Man 4, which I'm likely doing on Friday, Saturday maybe, near the weekend. So did you guys make a choice? 
Do not let me know yet, of course. You have to win first. And then you can let me know. Also, Wario looks so derpy. I mean, not only big, but also very derpy. Just look at him. You did? <laughs> 